Welcome everyone to a new video! What I've got for you today is another tutorial. What we are going to talk about today are what I like to call smart clocks. They can be used to prevent huge amounts of lag in your command block contraptions and because of that every command block engineer should know about them. So to show you how exactly this works, I used the example of my latest creation, unobtained building blocks. But let's start with the basics. Usually, you place all your command blocks in a long chain after a single repeating command block. But this will activate all your commands irrespective if they really need to. So what you do to create a smart clock instead is sorting all your command blocks in groups. In my example, for every new block there are three command blocks needed. The first one to tag the right item, the second one to transform it into a spawn egg and the last one to make the spawn egg work. So what you want to do is placing the groups after each other. What you can do now is adding a repeating command block before a group of commands that detect if the following group of command blocks should be activated. The first command of the group should become another repeating command block, but this one needs to be conditional. For instance, the command I took for the first and the second group executes at every player to detect if there are items nearby. Only if this command is successful, all the commands in the group get activated by the conditional repeating command block. So now let's take a quick look at the second smart clock in this creation. When do you really need the spawn egg to work? Only when the player is having a spawn egg. Therefore, one possible command would be slash clear at a spawn egg with a data of 0, 0 times. So with this command the clock will only be running whenever a player has a spawn egg in his inventory. But there are more possibilities. I could also check if there are any endermites in the world, since the spawn eggs are actually spawning endermites. If you have multiple possibilities like here, you need to decide what you think will be happen less often. Using the clear command for example, the commands get activated as long as a player is only carrying around the spawn egg. But using the test for command, a single endermite somewhere in your world would make your commands run always. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of this method. The main pro is of course that especially if you have conditions that are met quite rarely, smart clocks can prevent them from running often and causing lag. However, if you have conditions that are met nearly all the time, you might not even use one. Also you shouldn't use a smart clock for only a few command blocks, since you need to keep in mind that every smart clock adds a constantly running command. And of course there's one more minor problem with this. It makes a contraption larger and if you want to compact it into one command you could eventually pass the length maximum because you're using smart clocks. But overall this is an extremely powerful tool for command blockers who reduce lag. So that's about it. As always feel free to leave your questions and suggestions for future tutorials or creations in the comments or follow me on twitter at thebullyboy and if you enjoyed it consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye.